Hi guys, we will be making a fly high rubber band bracelet. So let's get started. Here is how it looks. It's like that. And then here's another color. So we are making a fly high rubber band bracelet. So let's get started. By the way, today is Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Um and um yeah. So right now we are going to be doing the normal border so you'd so for the border, whenever I say border, we always just do the normal type of border where you go out, out, and then you go upwards all the way down your loom. Okay, so, oh, okay, um, so, one sec, guys. Okay, anyways, so this is how my loom looks. And to close it off, you're just gonna go in, Words and inwards. So we're gonna do this all the way down our loom. So I'm doing yellow, yeah, actually, yeah. So yellow, white, and um, I am going to be doing pink. And then you keep continuing this pattern all the way down your loom. So we're just kind of making a Y shape. Or well, actually, yes, you go vertically, then you make a V, whatever way you want to think about it. And I will pause the video. So yeah, I'm gonna be pausing the video so it doesn't take too long. So yeah, I'm gonna pause the video and continue my Vs. Here's how my loom looks once I'm done placing all of the Vs. Okay, so to finish this up, we're just gonna place one band like that. So now here's how it looks. Okay, so this is actually a pretty weird color combination. I don't know why, I'm just doing weird colors today. But um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put bands that look like this all the way down your loom. So you do it on the middle or at the end, I don't know, of every V. So I don't know how to explain this, but anyways, you guys can see it. And I've adjusted my camera angle so you guys can see this better. So now I have my camera in front of me instead of on the side of me. So I think that will be better. But if it's not, then um, I'll change it. Okay, just need to... So you continue placing bands like that all the way down your loom. So you just do it like that for every V. Oh, right, okay. So this is how my loom looks. So what you're going to do is from here, you're gonna turn your loom around and um, so this is a pretty weird color combination because I have yellow, pink, white, purple, and yellow. I don't know. I'm just testing out colors, honestly. So I'm going to be doing black, and this kind of is weird because it feels weird to have white and black together in the same bracelet. But what you're going to do is we're going to basically do another border on both sides of our loom. And you're not gonna connect it from here to here and then start. Just go straight all the way down your loom on both sides. So this is how my loom looks. Okay, so um, to end this, we actually are going to close it in. And I just didn't, I wanted to show you guys this because I know it can get confusing. So yeah, you just end it like that. So yeah. um. This part's kind of weird, but instead of placing a cap band at the very bottom of our loom right there, we're actually going to be placing it at the top. Um, and um, yeah, it kind of, it's kind of weird, but I like to wrap my cap bands around three times. And right now I'm using my left hand to do the cap band because my right hand is holding the camera just for now. But yeah, this is how my cap band looks. So instead of it being at the 
very bottom, it's at the very top. So what you're going to be doing is, we actually, instead of hooking from the bottom, we're going to be hooking from the top, and this is kind of hard, even for me, but it gets even harder for people who don't know how to hook downwards, but if you've been watching my previous rubber band bracelet videos or rainbow looming videos, then you should know how to do this because I've done this a few times in previous videos, but just not like this in kind of a different way, but I have done it like this in previous videos. Like to hook starbursts, sometimes you need to hook downwards in order to do it. So, you're just going to be hooking downwards all the way down your loom. <laughs> that kind of feels weird to say. But yeah, just do that all the way down your loom on both sides. So here's how it looks. It looks like this. So I hooked everything downwards and we're gonna do something that looks like this. So I'll show you how I did this. What I did is you're gonna take, I like to do this with my fingers, it's easier. And you put the whole entire rubber band downwards. Put that downwards, put that downwards. And right now, you don't need your hook. And hook like, like, well, don't, I mean, you can use your hook. I just personally find it easier to do it with my fingers. So I don't know why. So continue this and I'm just not going to pause the video. I'm already done. Um, I mean, I'm almost already done. And you don't, you can also do it just one at a time. Uh, the last one's always the hardest for some reason. Okay. Okay, guys. We got this. Okay, so I did all of them. So here's how it looks. This was just an extra detail that was kind of like that. But yeah. We are going to be hooking BVs. BVs. I don't know. That sounds weird to say. BVs. Like that. Oh, actually, never mind, my bad. Um, That's actually not what we're doing. We're gonna pull this off. What we're doing is we're gonna be making a kind of X. So pull it back like that. So it kind of looks like a butterfly or an X, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> and then just go like that. And then you're also gonna do the same, oops, oops. Sorry, this place is kind of a challenge. Okay, and you continue. Oops, I don't know what just happened there. I think my band broke or something. I don't know what happened, but whatever happened, I don't like it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna be right back. So here, oh yeah, okay guys. So here is how my loom looks once I've um, hooked all the, um, once I um, hooked all of the um, upside down Vs. So when it was this way, they were Vs. But when we turned our loom around, they were upside down Vs. So yeah, once I hooked all the upside down Vs, here's how my loom looks. And I actually did miss this V, so I'll just be right back and um, hook that. This is how it's supposed to look. And sorry I keep making a lot of mistakes in this video. This bracelet is just really complicated and really hard to remember, but um, yeah. Okay guys, you so see all these bands um, that was really disturbing when we were hooking. Um, I just needed to do that to get the effect, but now you can release them. So, yeah. And, um, just release them. All you have to do is grab a hold of it. Like, so take those two layers of that rubber band and just keep on 
Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Just keep on doing that. And I'm not going to pause the video because this doesn't take forever. It takes like a minute or so. Here. Almost done. Okay. Finished. So yeah, that was pretty easy. And we're just doing this so it's easy to hook the white bands right there. But um, yeah, so we released them. Here's how it looks. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is I'm going to tie on a cap band between these two pins. So we have a cap band. So now we can hook the white and the yellow bands. So um, now that we have the cap band, don't hook the yellow ones yet. Just hook the white bands. Um, so you're going to do that. And then... I'm sorry, we have to keep on messing with these bands. We hook them backwards, then we hook them forwards. We have to hook them forward. We have to bring them back there again. And um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Whenever, once you hook the white band, you bring it forward like that. And then you bring it forward. Ugh. Okay. And you just continue that pattern. Here is how my loom looks. Now that I did that. Now all of the, these bands, they're, they're back in the front again. that now we are going to be hooking the yellow bands in hooking the yellow bands is pre pretty um normal no um no um like different stuff here this is just normal hooking the border kind of thing so yeah <laughs> oh and make sure you go inside all of the bands when you hook the border because if you don't, then there's going to be a little bit of a issue. I'm sorry if my hand is in the way. Actually, no, it's not in the way. I think it's good because I've adjusted my camera angle. So I think this is a really, really good camera angle. But it's it's really like not comfort comfortable to have this camera angle. But anyways, you're just gonna continue this. Here is how my loom looks now that I hooked all of the yellow bands, um, yellow border bands. So all I did is hook them outwards, outwards, and then vertically, vertically, and then inwards, inwards to close it off. Now what we're going to be doing is we're done doing the hooking process and I am so happy and I'm so excited. Yay, I'm so happy. And um yeah. So yeah. Um okay, so we're done with this bracelet. Um we're going we before we take it off of our loom, we just need to do one thing. So I'm do I'm using a white rubber band just so you guys can see and I think using um a white rubber band is better than using a color that you guys can't see very well. So yeah, I'm using white so you guys can see it better. Now I have one single band holding onto all of these rubber bands. See? Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to be taking another hook. If you have another hook, then you can use that to just take everything off of your loom. But if you don't have another hook, then I'll show you how you can take it off of your loom. You just go up to your hook and then go like this. I personally like doing it this way better, but this way is kind of dangerous because you may snap a band if you do it this way. So, you, so it is a little bit dangerous to do it this way, but if you're sure you won't mess anything up, then you can do it that way. Ugh. I just like to be extra careful. I finished doing this bracelet, so it, I 
believe it's reversible. I'm not sure how it's reversible, but even if it's not, it's still a really cool burst that I'm just going to stretch it out and tug it. And that's how it looks. So now we're going to be adding on our extension. Okay, so to add on the extension, my extension, I don't have much white in this bracelet, so I'm just gonna do an alternation between um, yellow and black. So, um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna start with yellow. Just gonna do this. And if you're wondering how I do my extensions, I'll show you a little bit on how I do it. So what I do is I take a rubber band, I put it like that right in the middle of it, and then I just tuck on it and pull on it like that. And then I just continue. Okay, so I have a C clip and I'm just going to hook my two ends together now. So you also have to find the cap band on the other end to hook that end together. So then you have your, okay, I'm just putting on my bracelet right now. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This fly high rubber band bracelet is reversible. So as you can see, so thanks for watching. Bye.